A nuclear reactor on the moon. That actually could be a reality. The acting administrator of NASA, Sean Duffy, issuing a directive to fast track that possibility. Sounds a little bit remote. Play on words, maybe. Explaining that doing so is actually a matter of national security. Well, to break it all down, Scripps News Washington correspondent Stephanie Liebergen is with me here live in studio. Stephanie, a nuclear reactor on the moon, it almost feels like a bad game of Mad Libs. I mean, am I <laughs> hearing this correctly? What exactly is the acting administrator asking for in this memo? So it's something that NASA has been studying for years. It's fission surface power, and it is basically allowing for power generation on the moon mm. and then eventually on the surface of Mars. So this new memo that Duffy issued on Thursday last week sets a new time frame and speeds it up, trying to turn research literally into reality. So in this new time frame, by the end of this, this month, they want a new executive chosen to lead this effort. By the end of next month, they want formal proposals Written, so that way they can start accepting um, bids from potential uh, contract um, awardees and then they want to start awarding two contracts by March 2026 to two different companies now China and Russia have said they want to put their reactors on the moon by 20 by the mid 2030s and the first country could do to do that whether it's us China or Russia could potentially inhibit other countries ability to follow suit so there's certainly a competitive advantage to being first take a listen to how the acting administrator of NASA, Duffy, put it earlier today. There's a certain part of the moon that everyone knows is the best. We have ice there. We have sunlight there. We want to get there first and claim that for America. And uh, to do this, is to, to this, this part of the fission technology is critically important to sustain life because solar won't do it. Now, solar won't do it. That's because of how long a day is on the moon. Basically, a day is almost a month on the moon. So you have two weeks of sunlight, but then you have two weeks of darkness where you can't rely on that solar power. So the goal for this reactor is a minimum of 100 kilowatts of power. So that's, you know, enough to power 70, 80 houses or so for maybe as long as 10 years. Um, and he wants to launch by the fall of 2030. Certainly an aggressive timeline and also begs the question of whether a permanent settlement could then end up on the moon. I mean, something that maybe Buzz Aldrin will never live to see, but he wants <laughs> ever so dearly. But I mean, just how realistic is this? Think about a nuclear plant here on Earth. I mean, we're talking about round-the-clock surveillance. We're talking about plant operators, people operating control rods. I mean, it sounds like something out of the movie Chernobyl, like a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, how feasible is this? It is actually more realistic than you might realize. So when you think about nuclear power plants, those are very large. So the average nuclear power plant can produce one gigawatt of power. That's equivalent to one million kilowatts. Follow me on the math here. What, na what, <laughs> NASA, tough, tough. what NASA wants to do is only produce 100 kilowatts. So we're talking about something significantly smaller than the average nuclear reactor that, you know, anybody watching this might be envisioning in their head. So sure. spoke to Ed, someone who works in the nuclear reactor space here on Earth earlier today, and he said hypothetically it could be easier to build this reactor in space. You don't have to worry about the heat issues you have on Earth. You don't uh. have to worry about radiation concerns. They'd be using a different type of fuel. And then also because they would be creating something that needs to put out significantly less power, it would take significantly less time to build. The average nuclear power plant takes at least five years to build. So as the best quote that I got in this conversation today that is, quote, not crazy at all, but actually a very practical idea I, to put a nuclear reactor <laughs> on the moon. I have to say your comment, you spoke to a nuclear engineer here on Earth. I did. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are we supposed to believe there are nuclear engineers in space? I mean, they're not, but he, he doesn't work on this space-related element of gotcha. the space research. So it is a different type of nuclear reaction than nuclear power plants that he typically works with. So just a little specification. Nuclear in space, what could go wrong? <laughs> Washington Scripps News, Washington correspondent Stephanie Liebergen, thank you.